Hello and welcome to a little bit about freelance writing tidbits. So I get asked all the time, how do you improve your writing speed? Now this is important for a jobbing, like I call them a jobbing writer, somebody who does this for work as a freelance writer for your job, right? Because the faster you write, the more you get paid on an hourly rate and the more time you have for other work or even just to live your life. Uh, the whole reason I am in this freelancing gig is because I like the lifestyle. I like to be able to set my own schedule, do the things that are important to me. It's just hugely important for me to be able to do all these things. So as a result, <laughs> like writing fast is huge. And I get asked all the time, how do you improve your writing, your writing speed? So I have six six things, six things. Uh, the number one thing is to practice. So the faster, you know, if you want to write faster, it's just, it's practice. It's practice. Nobody likes to hear that, but the more you write, the faster you'll be, right? You'll get used to your, your fingers will, will get used to writing faster. Uh, the more you practice, the more you think about it, the more you think in terms of how do I set up my articles? How do I write my articles? Just the more you do it, the faster you'll be. So that's, that's my first tip, but I know that you want more concrete tips than just, let's just write fast, let's just practice and we'll write faster. So here are five things that I find helps me with faster writing. First of all, a little bit of training. Now you don't have to go through an entire journalism program like I did, that's not, that's not what I'm talking about. But what I am talking about is sometimes it does help to have some training. You can go to a basic writing class. You can use a course. There are plenty of online courses that can help you with basic writing. So really think about that. These kinds of things can help you uh, move forward, get a little bit faster, and understand the basic structure, right? Because a lot of the time we don't understand technique. We don't understand effective composition. So getting a little bit of training, going through a little class, doing a little course can really help you uh, hone in on what you might be missing when it comes to writing. Because really a lot of the time it's about structure and mindset, especially as a freelancer, especially as somebody who is doing this as kind of a job. Uh, next, read. <laughs> most, most writers, as you probably know, are voracious readers become acquainted with different styles. If you specialize in a subject area, which many freelancers do, find out more about it. Find out how it's tackled by other writers. You do want to develop your own voice and style, but you need to read. You need to understand, okay, how do people organize these things? What are the important points that I want to include? And how do I, how do I move forward and how does this niche operate? So once you know those essentials for covering your subject, writing about it becomes much easier. In fact, you write faster the more you know. One of the reasons why I encourage folks to choose a niche, well, it helps you get paid more, but one of the reasons why I encourage folks to do a niche is because you can also learn the knowledge and once you've specialized in that knowledge, it becomes easier to write about that and everything flows and then before you know it, you're writing faster. Now this next tip, number well, yes, uh, this next tip, number three, uh, out of number four, this is number four. This next tip, number four, is organization. This one's a little bit longer, right? Uh, create an outline, have your sources organized, have your fact che check links ready to go. So there are a couple things that I do in this. First of all, an outline helps. You don't have to write out a detailed outline for every article you write. But one of the things I do is sit for two to five minutes and think about how do I want the flow of this piece to look? What kinds of points do I want to cover? And what is this going to look like in the end? Uh, sometimes clients provide you with an outline, so that helps out. Uh, and I go through that outline. So if a client has provided me an outline, I go through, I take a couple of minutes, two to three minutes to go through the outline, see what information is going to be covered so that I know and I don't have to keep going back to it. And then that way I can just sit down and write. So that helps. And that way you don't have to worry about um, the task switching between, uh, okay, figuring out where this research is and everything else. The other thing I do is organize my research ahead of time. If I know I have different sources or if I've got quotes, I get that out ahead of time. I read through it ahead of time. And then I kind of decide to put it in later. Um, so like even while I'm writing, I have a general idea of, okay, this quote might go good here while I'm writing it. I don't actually put it in until the end of my piece. 
uh, I just sit down and write. So having all of that ahead of time really helps. And then finally, fact checking links and resources. So I have a list. I have a list of here are, here are my fact checking links for student loans. Here are my fact checking links for uh, investing in cryptocurrency. Here are my fact checking links for mortgages. And then that way I have all of that information there and it is also a good place to go for me when I'm like, okay, I uh, just need a quick refresher on this topic, sit down, write it all out. It's very helpful. Next, do your best to avoid distractions. We hear this all the time. How do we avoid distractions? It's especially hard if you're a freelancer, you're working from home, or you have to go through a core working space. Do your best. Turn off the notifications. Use those uh, app blockers, <laughs> like block it out. Um, and then I also, when my son was younger, I went ahead and enrolled him in a preschool a couple times a week, and that's when I did the really important client work, the stuff that I knew was gonna be harder to get through without distractions. So really think about that. Um, I also use the Pomodoro technique, which means I focus hard for a set period of time and then I take a break. Uh, I have ADHD, trying to avoid distractions is a nightmare sometimes. And so, uh, so it really becomes important to have these systems in place that help you avoid distractions. Uh, and then finally, I like to set aside a block of time for my writing. And I find this helps me a lot because it gets me on a schedule and it also gets me in that right mindset. So I work best in the morning. I know that morning is the time for me to get my best work done. And I am lucky enough to have a child who is now 19. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about getting him ready for school. Uh, so it works really well for me to block off this time. And it's blocked off when people try to go into Calendly and make an appointment with me. They cannot make an appointment with me during my blocked off writing time. And I have that blocked off three days a week specifically for client work. Um, and that helps, one, helps me avoid distractions, and two, lets me know this is your schedule, this is part of your writing, and then I just get in and get it done. So knowing that I have this time and that's the time that I work on client work really helps. And it helps too that I schedule which articles I'm gonna write that day. I can look at that ahead of time and say, okay, for my writing block of time tomorrow, I'll be doing X, Y, Z. And then I can sit down, I know what I'm doing, pull up all that research I talked about, that organization ahead of time to lay the groundwork, and now I can sit down and write. And finally, write all the way through. I find that writing it straight through first, get the word on page, so go through, write it all first. Next, go through and say, okay, I've got quotes. If you have quotes from sources, I'm gonna put the quotes in here. This is where the quotes go. So I add the quotes in after I've written the piece. Then I go through, edit it all, make sure, you know, do the proofreading, do the editing, make sure it looks good, kind of go through. Um, and then finally, I add the, the fact, fact checking links. So this is why having a niche and reading a lot and understanding your subject matter becomes super important because you can write it all down and you can get it all out there and then add all of these other things that your editors are gonna ask for, you can add those later at the end. Uh, but it's just much faster if you can just sit down, get it all done, and not have to do it in between. So anyway, those are my tips for uh, writing a little bit faster. If you're a freelancer, uh, did you find them useful? What kind of tips do you use uh, to write faster? What is your go-to method for writing faster? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if there is a question you have about freelance writing and want to know more about, also drop that in the comments below and I will try to make a video about it.